So the other day, Crystal informed me that the governor of, I think it's North Dakota, announced his presidential run in the Republican primary. And I was like, come again now? Who? What? Never heard of this guy. No idea who he is. I cover politics for a living, and I was caught totally off guard by this. Um, and I, I watched his launch video, which I'm about to show you here. I got to be honest with you guys, man. I love this guy. I love this guy. Oftentimes, we fail to take into account the cultural differences from pocket to pocket in the country, right? You got these urban areas, these cities where it's one culture, rural areas, another culture, but you go far enough north or far enough south, and it is immensely different to the point where you go certain places in this country, bro, it is literally the year 1988. They are stuck in 1988. They're listening to music from back then. They got the old school, big ass, jumbo ass TVs if they have any TVs at all. It is like, it is, it's something. It's something to behold. So this guy, Doug Burgum, he seems like he's AI generated. I'm just going to say, 1988 candidate, AI generated. I don't know what he's thinking, why he's doing this. At least with somebody like Tim Scott, who has no chance of winning, at least you know, perhaps he's angling to try to be VP. He gives the Republicans the protection of playing the race card and being like, how can we be racist? Our VP is black. That's what he's angling for. Perhaps Nikki Haley's doing the same thing, although I think she might be dumb enough to think she can win. Um, but this guy, it's like, there's literally nothing comes out of this, Doug. Nothing. His name is Doug Burgum, which, by the way, also sounds like an AI-generated name. And um, let's have some fun, man. Let's watch this, and you guys are going to get a kick out of this. This is, this is very cute. I will call it cute. My dad died when I was 14, freshman year of high school. Why would you start with that? Why would you start with that? My dad died when I was young too, man. Is that how I start my shows? They pulled me off our basketball team bus and- <laughs> It looks like he played, he played basketball with Jerry West to this guy. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I grew up in a tiny town in North Dakota. Woke was what you did at 5 a.m. to start the day. Doug. 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 <laughs> this is only going to get better. A place where neighbors rally around you. My mom was our rock, our hero. I started a shoe shine business. Worked at the Doug, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. And I'm not just saying that about like it's not about you. I'm not this isn't a knock on you. Nobody cares about your dumbass background. Nobody cares about my dumbass background. Nobody cares about my dumbass background. We're in the era of social media where people's attention spans are 0.3 seconds. And you're out here telling your goddamn life story with some cheesy ass music in the background, being the governor of North Dakota, which is a state that barely exists. Doug, what are you doing? What are you doing, Doug? Paid my way through college, then earned an MBA from Stanford. I ignored those who said North Dakota was too small, too cold, and too remote to build a world-class software company. So I literally bet the farm to help build a tiny startup into a billion-dollar company with customers in 132 countries. A kid from small town North Dakota. That's America. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me he's not AI generated. He looks like a fake person. If news came out today, Doug Burgum is not a real person and he was fake and he was AI generated and it's not even a real presidential run, every one of you would be like, yeah, I kind of thought so. Yeah, it kind of looked like that, didn't it? Today, America's facing new challenges and how we respond will define our future. We need new leadership for our changing economy. Innovation over regulation. <laughs> Instead of shutting down American oil and gas, we should unleash energy production and start selling energy to our allies instead of buying it from our enemies. High taxes, red tape, and inflation are choking every American. As governor, we cut red tape and took North Dakota from billions in the hole <laughs> he, to a surplus. He's being a cowboy. He's pretending to be a cowboy. This is great. 
We balanced the budget every year, and we did it all while passing the largest tax cuts in North Dakota history. A real bold, fresh idea, man. It's not like literally every other Republican isn't in favor of the same thing. Come on. Oh my God. States created the federal government, not the other way around. Let's shrink the federal government and return power to the states. <laughs> Anger, yelling, infighting. That's not gonna cut it anymore. Let's get things done. In North Dakota, we listened with respect and we talked things out. That's how we can get America back on track. By the way, this is the only attack these people can muster against Trump. That's all they got. They can't say, hey, I disagree on the wall. They can't say, hey, I disagree on your increasing of drone strikes. They can't say, hey, I disagree on you destroying the regulatory state, destroying the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which had returned $12 billion to defrauded Americans. They can't say any of that because they agree with them on that. So it was like, your tone, sir, is not gentlemanly, so I will be a gentleman. I got bad news for you, Doug. Turns out the Republican base loves this about Trump. They love that he pulls no punches. They love that he's vicious. And your goofy-ass, cowboy-ass, broke-back mountain-ass ad is not going to change any of that. But look, I said it was adorable. The reason why this is adorable is I have no idea that this is like, this ad is a banger in North Dakota. Right? Like, in North Dakota, they're like, Why, yes, Doug Burgum is the kind of guy I like, say. They talk like they're from, like, the 1920s. That's why I added this E at the end. Like, this, this is... They're like, yeah, I like to sit around a campfire at night when it's seven degrees with my buddies after we go wrangling uh, cattle. So, in North Dakota, he's like, yo, I freaked this ad. He's showing all of his friends, like, yo, look how much I freaked this ad. But anybody outside of North Dakota is watching this, and they're, like, having a field day with it. It'll work. And in that tiny town where I grew up, you didn't promise things you couldn't deliver. Doug Burgum, <laughs> small town boy, turned self-made, <laughs> world-class business leader. <laughs> extraordinarily successful governor. A listener and a doer. A smart guy who achieved a lot. <laughs> The slow motion turn of the face. Come on, man. Oh, God. How's he going to justify and rationalize all this to himself when the vote totals come in and he has less than 1% if he even makes it to a single contest? How's he going to rationalize it? How's he going to justify it? He literally offers the same policy package as every other Republican. He's just more boring. What, and what's his cope going to be? Bro, I would have won if it uh, was 1988 and we were a totally different country filled with totally different people who believe totally different things and acted in totally different ways. Then I would have won, bro. Doug Burgum, a new leader for a changing economy. I'm Doug Burgum. I approve this message. Look, I'm just astonished as to how out to lunch so many people are. I really am. I really am. Like, you are this disconnected from what your average American is like. You are. Is that really, is that true? Anyway, look, I'll enjoy every second of it. I'll probably, I've probably already given him more coverage than anybody will this entire election season. But if Doug Burgum continues to be living in 1988 and an AI-generated version of an old-school Republican, we're going to have fun with it. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.